All right, so For I think... For some reason, I thought each character got 10 missions. I don't know why I thought that. So we have a boss a boss battle over here. I don't think I want to show it because I think we're run, we're running low on time. Um, so I, I want to show some Dante must die. hard move. Uh, so we're going to jump to 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 my personal save, and uh, we're gonna play some Dante must die. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be showing off uh, the demo level again, just so you have a comparison of how it looked when we were playing Devil Hunter versus how it's gonna look now. <clears throat> And also, I now have full access to my abilities, so I can do fun things. Do you think we'll be able to um, show some some Dante gameplay as well? Oh yeah, we haven't really gotten to show yeah. showing Dante. So let's do some stuff with um, with Virgil, and then go over to okay. Dante. Okay, sure. All right, so it starts out the same. These guys, they're much stronger though. Um, look at that health bar. Yeah, look at that health bar. Blue orb donkey. <laughs> I'm only missing two of them. Oh my gosh. So that's what I was talking about with the uh, the X-Axe system, um, or exceed mechanic. I don't really know what you want to call it. Um, but basically, if you time your your uh, left trigger attack perfectly, um, you'll get three bars of, the, of that right away. Hmm. And uh, yeah, it allows you to change the properties of some of your moves very substantially. Let's just keep up in the air. Romy said dodging spoilers now is like dodging plague in medieval times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there, there might still be like very, very minor spoilers in terms of the UI, um, but I don't. I honestly don't think that's that should be something that you should be concerned about. Uh, Schultz what? says, "Are there are the unlockables if you beat the game on the harder difficulties?" I'm not sure if I understood that question. Okay, so this is this is uh, one of the things that is unique to Dante Must Die difficulty. Uh, when you see that purple glow appear on an enemy, that means that they themselves have gone Devil Trigger, and that basically dramatically increases their health. Dramatically increases their their damage. Dramatically increases pretty much everything. Um, so it's, they become very very threatening when they are in that mode. Did we already get this uh, red orb cache uh, behind you down that that alleyway? This one? Yeah. And then up there. Oh no, I don't think I got it. You actually get a trophy for getting this one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Nice. <clears throat> I wonder if there's anything special about this room. I don't know. Hey, Chad, did you guys see anything special about that room? <laughs> Let us know. <coughs> uh, Sachin Chakraborty says, Am I the only one who misses usable items in Nero's DT <coughs> from previous games? Um, what was that? Miss usable I <coughs> Excuse me, my throat. Mm. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm good. Um, no, I don't think so. I think it's actually good because... Um, I think what's nice about not having the, the usable items is that it keeps a very frenetic pace. Uh, you don't have to slow down the action to go into your menu. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't miss Final Stars or anything like that. Uh, Solo Shinigami says, if I don't remember three or four, should I replay them before starting five? Uh, there actually is a pretty good uh, recap in the game. There's also a pretty good recap on IGN.com. Ooh, if you want to hear me do a Ric Flair impersonation, you should watch that. <laughs> Uh, I think it's a Devil May Cry in five minutes. Uh, seven minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, Brian was giving me the. Yeah, we tried. We always try to do five, but it, you know, sometimes does not work out. Hero K3 says, "Spoiler: The Devil cries at the end." Spoken sexy style. Sorry, I love saying that. <laughs> I don't think the devil actually cries at the end. I think it's a lie. I don't know, Mitchell. I guess you'll have to see for yourself. Yeah, you have to beat the game. See, see if it cries. So, how do they change the story ordering? The what? So, the, the order of uh, Devil May Cry. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> the chronological order of the Devil May Cry be, games. It used to be uh, three, one, um, four, and then two. Mm -hmm. And just recently, they changed it so that they swapped two and four. Mm -hmm. Um 
But here's the thing. Again, you're going to hear me talk all kinds of trash to DMC2 because I think it's a bad game. And honestly, I think it's kind of a, a black a stain on, on one of my favorite franchises. Um, DMC2 doesn't really have all that much relevance to, to the plot. It feels like a completely different Dante. Um, he does weird things like he's obsessed with flipping coins. Um, and like the characters that appear in DMC2 do not appear in any other DMC game. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So ultimately they just swapped them and didn't really explain why. I don't think they really need to. Yeah, I think they just <laughs> thought five would flow better. Yeah, I think I think after four, four. Yeah, I think four flows into five a little bit better. It, and it's not. It also doesn't pick up directly after four, so it won't be. It'll be kind of confusing for everyone. It's not something that like if you played four, you'll immediately know what's going on. Yeah. All right, uh, Robbie do... Ruger says, is this game out yet? It will be uh, midnight tonight, depending on where you live. Mm -hmm. You might be able to access it at 9 p.m. So. Right, I'm going to do one more, one one more, more fight, fight, and then we'll switch over to Dante. <clears throat> and once again, I'll have to you know, tell you when there are spoilers. So just keep an ear out for that. <clears throat> uh, so DMC2 is not canon, right? I'm sorry I can't read. I mean, but it technically is canon. Yeah. And I'm sorry I can't read your name. It's in characters that I can't read. <laughs> Which one is it? Oh, yeah. The one that isn't, um, like, the, like, I guess, Roman characters, what you call Romanji? our letters? Yeah, I well, I wanted to say Romanji, because that's uh -huh. what, well, that's the, like, Roman characters in Japanese so that mm -hmm. we can read it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Oh, but now I can <clears throat> I can show people this this cool thing. Oh yeah. Wah, bah! Oh, well, that wasn't that great. Oh, oh, come on. Well, See, maybe I maybe I have to do this fight first. Yeah, I think I it broke while I was while fighting. fighting. Yeah. DMC two is canon, but just barely. Honestly, what's more canon uh, is the DMC anime. Uh, that aired in Japan uh, a couple years, not uh, more than a couple years ago, but uh, there are actually are characters in this game that are only from the anime. What? Yeah. You remember? You, oh, I don't want to spoil it, but there's. Oh. Uh, I guess you haven't gotten there yet. No. Ooh, uh, always gotta do that. Did you read? Schultz said I kind of spelled it weird. Do you unlock anything like new costumes if you beat the game on harder difficulties, like Son of Sparta mode and so on? I don't think so. You definitely don't get it for Son of Sparta mode. And I already, I already broke this for that. I think there's a blue orb down here. Uh, when yeah. you first come down here. All right. So there is. That's that's Virgil. Dante must die. Difficulty. Um, this is early no, on. Nero. Oh, sorry. That's Nero. Dante must die. Difficulty. I know it probably didn't look super difficult. Um, later on, it gets ridiculous, and actually, we'll jump into a later on mission with Dante. All right, so now we got Dante. Um, I'm um, using Gunslinger, so let's show off some Gunslinger. Boom! You can do this real cool thing that you weren't able to do before. Do a whole bunch of good, good damage that way. Uh, these guys Ooh. suck. I don't like those guys. Oh um, man, what was that? Now let's show off some some Swordmaster. Um, We'll do the one of these. Yes. A boom. You have to show the Cavalier. Cavalier. I loved playing this. <laughs> do some some sick donuts. Uh, well, I mean, I'm kind of not in a good spot for it, but Cavalier is really fun. Um, it's it's one of the harder weapons to use, to be honest, um, because it's very very slow, and while you're using it, you're very vulnerable. Um, but it does a lot of, I, I want to call it knockback. It seems to stun enemies a lot easier. It does a lot of damage. does a lot of knockback. Um, it also has armor on some of its moves. Um, so you won't get, like, staggered. Oh, but right there, you just got hit. Yeah. But it didn't interrupt your attack. Yeah, so that's why, why I mean when I say it has armor. Okay. Uh, Rummy says, let's see your skills with changing styles on the go. All right, so here's Trickster. Here's World Guard. Unfortunately, not a very good arena to, to show it off. Let's go Swordmaster. Oh, man, those bombs suck. And just, uh, this is the most, the highest difficulty. Dante must die. Yes. Playing as Dante from the Devil May Cry series. 
Uh, oh, Mario Bros. The says, I think the best weapon is the Devil Arms and Cerberus mix them combos. Um, Angry Geth asks, do you still have to press two buttons to dodge, like, in the demo? Do you mean, like, you have to lock on and then press X? But as we discussed before, you don't have to dodge to actually avoid damage. You can jump and you get invincibility frames on the way up. So you can jump, like, through lasers and through enemy attacks and won't get hit. Six skills, Mitchell. Six skills. Sorry, I was going for the smoking sexy style. Didn't get it. But yeah, so one thing that you can take away from, from that fight is that enemies have a lot of health in oh, yeah. Dante Must Die. You like if if your issue with en with uh, enemies in this game is oh they die too fast, I'm I'm not able to, you know, do all these cool combos that I learned. Uh play Dante Must Die difficulty, you'll be able to do whatever you want to them. Controverse Gaming asks, can you main Dante through the story mode? Uh, no. You can only play Dante and Dante. Well, so there's a couple missions that you can choose which character you want to use. Uh, but for the most part, each character has their own missions that are specifically made for them. <clears throat> All right. Let's see how tough this is going to be. Um, so this is Cerberus. Um, this is a weapon that was in Devil May Cry 3, but it's got a couple, and you know, that move is also in Devil May Cry 3, uh, but it's got a couple of new tricks. Um, mainly, it's got three elements. Before, it was only uh, an ice weapon, but now you got uh, ice, you got lightning, and Swordmaster, That's cool. you've got fire. It's one of my favorite weapons in this game. And also, I, I like all of Dante's weapons. They're all really, really cool. So how many hours do you think you needed to train to master this many weapons and styles of fighting? <laughs> is he... <laughs> Dante's, Dante's <laughs> gameplay, I feel like, is a lot harder to, to get a handle of uh, compared to Nero. Um, because there's just so many options you have at any given time. Um, but, so, I mean, I don't know. What was your question again? How long it takes to, to get you solved? Like how, no, like Dante specifically, like his character. Like how old is he? Oh. How, is, how is he so skilled with so many different <laughs> things? That's a good point. I, I want know. a canon reason. Did he have a, did he have access to a hyperbolic time chamber? That's my question. Hold on, this guy. This is <laughs> this is one of the tougher enemies in the game. Uh, these guys oh. suck. Oh, they teleport. Yeah. That's not. No. Oh god, they suck. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's get service here. Uh, you do the, it. the way that I I found to deal with these guys is just kind of do these uh, moves that have multi hits and can parry them. Uh, idle movement on the Twitch chat says melee button mashing. Uh, if you're only button mashing Devil May Cry, you're you're gonna have a bad you, time. Yeah, you're gonna have just a real to, bad time. You know, sands. Dante the Weapon Master. Yep. So one of the one of my favorite things about Balrog, this weapon that I'm using right now, is that it has uh, two stances. It has a fist stance and it has a uh, kick stance. And when you use this fist stance, basically you can hold down the button and you do this cool little bob and weave. And there's mm. a lot of invulnerability frames on. This guy's a jerk. Oh, Mitchell, pay sucks. attention. He's got, all right, guys, Mitchell's got to focus, so I want to talk right now. Um, this guy kind of reminds me a little bit if, of that one character in Hunter x Hunter, if he was strong, you know, on the Chimera Ant arc. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, just because he can go invisible and is a lizard, but, you know, that's not that much of a comparison. <laughs> oh, God! Leave me alone! You can do it. All right, guys, we need you to cheer for Mitchell. <laughs> Uh, Omega Fabulous is they want Get out missions as Dante DLC. Oh, you didn't. You made it to Apocalyptic. I did. All right. Those guys suck. Yeah, they do. Again, <clears> we are <throat> playing on the most, the highest difficulty. Dante must die um, as Dante. Uh, so the enemies are a lot more difficult and have a lot of health. <laughs> Weeds is my favorite thing to do in Double Cry. Just that those cool long jumps. Uh, Romy asked, is Turbo Mode available? Uh, I haven't noticed. Alright, if it is, I haven't unlocked it yet. 
Wait, what? Oh, you have an unlock. Okay. Uh, Controverse Gaming says, how long does it take to finish the story? We've answered this a couple times, but about uh, 10 to 12 hours, depending on how long you spend exploring, how good you are at the combat, and how indecisive you are when you're choosing abilities. <laughs> yeah, you know, people can spend hours uh, like looking at, at those abilities. I am the most indecisive. I'm the worst. Oh, uh, so something for you, yeah. I believe. Oh, what? Uh, okay, let's what's see. here? Which level is uh -huh. this? Let's see, where was it? Uh, so you may notice, and th if this is a spoiler, I apologize, um, but uh, one of my weapons is a double Kalina Ann. And uh, <clears throat> normally, oh. you would only have one Kalina Ann. I believe, let's see, I think it's up here. Huh? Huh? Is it up here? You don't know it's how much time I spend it's jumping this level, up against walls. <laughs> so much time. It's definitely in this level, but there's a, a room that you can go to that has uh, the second clean in, um, and it basically gives you both of these. And they they have their own set of skills. All right, Mental, um, you're gonna have to write me a uh, how to unlock a second. Yeah, clean in too. Yeah. All right. I'm signing this to you right now. <laughs> I'm not Mitch's boss, and I can't actually tell him what but to do. But the cool thing about uh, having two <laughs> clean hands is that you can do this. Oh, wait. That, that wasn't it. Oh, Hold no. On. no. That wasn't it. Well, you can do this. Oh, let me do it. Not allowed. Just let me do it. All right, hold I on. like the spiky lizards. I think they're cute. Uh. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ow. Uh, oh, Clueless boy. asked if you can play uh, DMD mode from the beginning. I don't think you no. can. You have no. to beat the game first. On either difficulty, at least. Like, by play, I mean beat. You have to beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Stanislav Yordanov asked, what happened to the one hit dead in the last difference? I think that's, that's color... Heaven or hell mode. Okay. And this is not that mode. No. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Mook says, uh, turbo mode is usually for PC, PC only, no? Not like Devil May Cry 5 could run native 4K at double the speed, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Break dance! You're being so mean to that guy. Oh, what? Well, hold on, let's see. Okay. Oh, oh. You can do this! Ah, Ghostbusters! Oh, man, it is. <laughs> and you can do this! Oh, wait, no, hold on. You can do this! Oh, okay. That was empty commandic, but. There we go. Dante's <laughs> gotta have like a backpack holding or something. <laughs> that's all right. a lot of weapons. That's all those guys. We've got about seven minutes. All right, seven we'll probably do minutes. one or two big battles. Uh, I actually just learned about this, so let's let's do something cool here. <clears throat> let's see if we can get this off. Uh, Vladimir Elix says, can we see some other skins and outfits? Uh, I don't think we're going to have time for it, unfortunately. So right now I'm using Dr. Dr. Faust, which actually uses my uh, red orbs to oh, do damage. What? Yeah. I think so. You spend red orbs. Yep. Man, I just I just put together the achievement list yesterday. I'm trying to think. Um, I think you've earned an achievement by spending a certain amount of orbs in this mode. Uh huh. I could be wrong. You can double check my answer by going <laughs> to uh, IGN Devil May Cry Five Wiki. <laughs> See if I can figure out how to do this. Come on. There it is. Nope, that's not it. I actually don't know what that's. I think. Oh, so I think that can can shoot out red orbs while I just kind of do other things. Oh, like in here. Yeah. I'm, I don't. I don't know if that's actually how that works. But <laughs> I, I think that is how that works in near. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I mean I know. I know how it works in near. I don't know that. 
it works the same in Devil May Cry 5. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, Zezimesh asked, does Pandora's box return in this one? Oh, I wasn't able to do it. There's a there's a move that you can do to spend a whole bunch of red orbs. Um, and basically, it calls like a red orb meteor to crash. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Oh. Um, E.T. Bane is asking, is there any reason why enemy attacks are so predictable? And I, he's being a little bit disparaging here. But they are. <laughs> but I think the whole point is to be able to learn an enemy's movements and dodge. So there are specific tells so you can get good enough to do that and then earn the triple S rating, um, which you can only earn by avoiding enemies. So it'd be kind of mean to be like, hey, there's this triple S rating you can get if you dodge these attacks that you'll never know are coming. Right? Yeah, I like, think it's it's part of like being a, a good action game that, you know, enemies... Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Enemies that can do that much damage to you, you gotta be able to have a, a way to fight back. Yeah. Like, and, you know, I guess you could make the argument of it like it being too easy to to tell, but uh, I don't think that's the case here. I don't, I don't either. Don't cry. Don't cry five. Because if you do make a mistake, you really pay for it. Yeah. In both your uh, ranking and in your health. Up yeah. we go, I suppose. Up like we go, I suppose. Uh, Rami wants you to collapse. taunt more. Taunt more? All right, well, uh, let's see if I can do this. Let's see. Whoa. Uh, uh. Double trigger. Double trigger with the hat. I don't know why I like that so Come much. On, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, no. He's not gonna let me do it. <laughs> no. Got what button it is. Uh, okay. I want to do the red orb meteor. They're not gonna let me do it. All right, screw it. We're just gonna go cavalier. Uh, Controverse Gaming is off topic, but will you guys stream Sekiro in a few weeks? Uh, I, I don't know about you. us specifically, but someone will. Oh, yeah, someone. Maybe Brendan. Oh, I died. oh no, oh, Mitchell. No. Oh, no. This is your, like, second death in the whole game ever. I know. All right, but I'll show off also if you use red orbs to revive. Boom! You just knock everyone away. Oh, wow. And this is what I like to do with Cavalier. Once again, jump cancels, guys. Use them. Uh, the Silent Walker Zero scratch. says, notice me. Hello. Hi. You've been noticed. <laughs> uh, E.T. Bingen says, sorry, I get that. Like a violent, pretty rhythm game. <laughs> I think combat's like pretty rhythmic. Uh, you want to know how to use uh, Cavalier? Just look at what I just did. <laughs> oh. Taking notes. But basically, uh, there's a move that you can get that uh, is like an uppercut in the air. Uh, but you can jump cancel that and you can just kind of keep on doing it. It does multiple hits, so it can uh, parry enemies. And it's very, very good. Uh, Captain Free Video Games on PCs. It's time to go, boys. Buy IGN and funds Devil Never Cry. Have fun, everyone. Devils make fun. Yeah. <laughs> Even yeah, have you oh. seen Devil May Cry, baby? Like, there's a lot I of crying in that. Actually. You should watch that. Even a Devil May Cry when they lose a loved one. It's very true. <laughs> oh, God, they hurt so bad, Casey. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is the most difficult difficulty. Uh, the highest difficulty. It is the most difficult enemies that you will face. That's Dante. Yep. I think honestly, Dante probably has uh, some harder missions. She than... wants Kit Rockhub wants to know if there's anything like Super Dante. Uh, I don't want to get <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers, guys. But there is Devil Trigger Dante. Oh, I think I died again. All right. Well, uh, actually, I think that's probably a good time to <laughs> to wrap. So, um, sorry uh for you know dying uh, those last couple of uh attempts at uh, Dante Must Die difficulty, it's hard. It especially is, while is tough. trying to talk to people. Um, especially, and also that's like uh, 11 chapters in. Mm -hmm. So um, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and hopefully you guys, uh, you know, pick up Devil May Cry 5. I, this, I think this game is phenomenal. I gave it a 9.5. Uh, I think it is the pinnacle of, of the Devil May Cry series and just one of the best action games you'll ever play. Um, 
Yeah. But yeah. And be on the lookout for some tips videos with a lot of help from Mitchell. You can get a whole um, tip video on how to get a triple S style ranking, which he is very good at. I'm working and on also it. Um, <laughs> some basic tips if you're totally new to the series. And also, of course, like check our wiki if you want some more information. Maybe you can throw some stuff up there yourself. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching and keep it here at IGN. Bye bye. Oops. <laughs> <laughs>